Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar. It is almost tip-off time. Lakers versus Celtics. Now this is the My Career Mode where I have made the brother of Dunbar Snack Bar, Jafar Snack Bar. Uh, and this has actually been kind of cool. Um, hasn't been necessarily my favorite NBA 2K um, because of the Spike Lee joint and everything. Like, I think it's a good story, but... Oh, wide open! No, I think it's a good story, but like when I play my career, I want it to be my career, not the career that Spike Lee said I should have and everything. But luckily, I'm past that first season. Uh, I won the state championship in high school. I won the national championship with Arizona. And so now I'm playing for the Lakers. I originally got drafted by the Hornets, but I decided with free agency that I would go to the Lakers because I know that there's a potential for a lot of money here. Ooh, good block. Um, and also get a chance to be able to rebuild the Lakers. So, ah, oh man, I didn't hit that one. But that's okay. You know, with Jafar just starting off in the second season, I think this is like game number six of the second season, uh, I'm not obviously the best that I'm going to be. In fact, I'm not even as good as Sigmund Sunwafer was last year either. Uh, haven't gotten as many games in this year. But we're still doing pretty well. Coming off the bench as the point guard, I've been able to do actually quite a lot to be able to help the team out uh, don't have you know that much time in per game but the time that I do have in every single game I make the most of it which I'm kind of hoping to showcase off a little bit here uh, I have been able though to help Kobe Bryant I think this might be his last season uh, but I keep feeding him the rock at the most opportune times giving him wide open high percentage shots so things have been going well for the Lakers especially this season I think this is game six and we haven't lost one that's saying something right there. Um, but it will be a couple weeks before I'll be able to post again. Uh, I've been trying to post at least once a week. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun playing Arma and everything. But now this came out and FIFA came out. Uh, I've kind of gone back to sports games for a little bit. Next week, I will be in D.C. Seeing a wedding, which will be really cool. Uh, the co... Well, he was the inventor of the snack bars. But we kind of together made them what they are which is pretty cool um but yeah so i'll be there for uh monday till saturday and then we plan on going to like gettysburg and uh get a tour of the white house the capitol a whole bunch of other really cool places in dc uh, i know gettysburg is not in dc but we're gonna make a little trip up to dc and then probably arlington national cemetery too uh i have a class that starts on monday too but it's an online class so it should be okay, but that takes more time out of things. But uh, once I come back on Saturday, or Sunday, excuse me, I do come back on Sunday. Once I come back on Sunday, I sleep at my house, and then I get in the car, and then I go on a business trip to the University of Iowa. So that'll be interesting. It'll be a three-day tech conference. I'm kind of excited for all the different discussions that they're going to be from some of the Big Ten schools, plus University of Chicago will be there too. Uh, getting a chance to grow, get better. You know, kind of a little know a little bit more about what other universities are doing with their tech but oh, second trip to the line for me i think you know the the vc that i have been getting through my games i've been kind of distributing it pretty evenly across the board so my free throws are a lot better than they were obviously than when i started off what i used to do and what i did last year too is i used to do uh, upgrade two of my uh, attributes for shots and then one for everything else so it was pretty disproportionate after a while you know I was obviously a shooting point guard and everything but I'm trying to be a lot more balanced uh, especially since I'm going more into the paint in this game than I have in years past so I guess that is pretty good I've been having some problems though with pick and rolls I don't know what it is but it seems like the AI and I don't think I show it in this game at all but it's like just set the pick for a second and then they'll you know get out of the pick and run over to the other side and try and set the pick from the other direction which is not cool but ooh, good steal <laughs> got him again two steals in a row and an easy layup <laughs> jafari is seriously the best you know, one of the things I really wanted to do in this game, uh, since I saw that you can relocate your teams, is I wanted to be able to bring back the Seattle Supersonics. 
So I was going to do like a what if uh, type of scenario where I was the Sacramento Kings. And as you guys know, there was a lot of discussion that Sacramento might have been sold to Chris Hansen with uh, Seattle and he might move them up there. That would have been really cool. Like I said, I was going to do like a what if type of thing where that would have happened, but I didn't want to fork over all the money to be able to do it. I had the cool jerseys made. I had the uh, court set up exactly like the proposal because I don't know if you guys knew this, but I'm a huge Seattle Supersonics fan. I say am because I have like somewhat boycotted the NBA once Seattle moved to Oklahoma City. And if you guys have gotten a chance... Uh, to see Sonic's Gate, it kind of tells a really good story about, you know, how Seattle got to Oklahoma City and some of the stuff that happened. And I don't know if you haven't watched it, I recommend watching it. So until Seattle comes back, I've like distanced myself a little bit from NBA because when I was a kid, I had a Sean Kemp jersey. My friend had a Gary Payton jersey. We used to wear them to elementary school all the time. It was awesome. But since they're gone... I don't know. It was so gut wrenching for me. Anyway, might might do a series here or there um, with this, but obviously I'm gonna play the my career because this is my favorite part of the game. And when I'm playing FIFA, which has been awesome, I'm loving FIFA. Um, I've got a my or be a pro going on there with a guy named El Presidente Danger, which. It's a 17 year old who wants to become the president of Mexico. And obviously at the age of 17, he can't be president. So he's becoming a professional soccer player in order to raise campaign funds for the future. This is the kind of stuff that I do whenever I play, play games and I'm not posting it. And it's actually been kind of refreshing too. <laughs> That's good steal. Man, I am like on fire with defense today. This has actually been pretty good for me. Uh, all around. I mean, right now my numbers are pretty average for the time that I come in, or uh, that I have every game when I come in for the short amount of time that I have. Traveling to the line again. This is the third foul that I've caused today. And I'm 100% from the line. So if I can keep this going, this is going to be good. Alright, make the first one. Actually, I don't know if I've missed one in quite a long time actually I know that I haven't but yeah this game is pretty fun I obviously love NBA 2k and making the ridiculous people with my player I've wanted to explore some of the other features uh, too but you know there's the my team which from my understanding is pretty similar to Ultimo team and stuff like that but you know since I have gone away from NBA and haven't followed it nearly as much as I used to. Ooh, good three-pointer by Kobe. See, this is kind of like more what I would expect to see out of him. He's six for eight, but the last game he was two for nine, so maybe it's balancing out. But yeah, I mean, since I haven't been following NBA too much, I'm not as in the know as I could be on the players, and so putting together my team may not necessarily be the best. I've got a few friends who have this game, I want to play them online just because I want to get that experience. It's not something I've had in years past. Man, I just went the whole way there. But, you know, if I'm not recording everything that I do, I can have terrible games and be okay. But, all right, I'm going to try to see if I can hit 20 points, which might be pretty close to my career high. Oh, and I make it and one. So I'm going to go to the line to see if I can make this a three-point play. You can see with 128 left to go in the fourth quarter, and us up by 21 points, not really concerned about the outcome of the game. Right now I'm just padding stats, but 20 points, One seven shot. rebounds, six assists, I think two steals, and two blocks. Not, not bad at all. I mean, that's actually pretty good for a point guard who comes off the bench you know I'm going up against D'Angelo Russell I think at point guard and he's actually been doing pretty well last game he had 30 points so he's making this somewhat tough for me to be able to get into the starting lineup I don't know if I would request a trade at this point or something like that but we'll kind of see where this goes I heard you can also move like in your my career you can also recommend that the team move so 
Maybe I'll do that too. That might be a good legacy for Jafar Snack Bar. Anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. I sure do appreciate it. What a great game this one was. And Jafar ends up being player of the game, which is always a good thing for me too. But I'll be gone for a couple weeks. I'll see you guys when I get back. Don't know what I will be posting, but I'll try and post when I can. You know, work, school, kids. I don't get to do it as much as I used to. But thanks again for watching, guys. I sure do appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already. As always, though, I hope you guys have a good one.